taking the same sort of effect over here. Here I'm going straight across the images I've already painted because they'll show up in front of them anyway. And any that didn't, I would just enhance them, but most of them do show up. And then I want some light fields, so I'm going to put a bit of ye lemon yellow with my green to have a very bright field back here. And you can also glaze with lemon yellow. It's a very dilute glaze. You don't want to put too much yellow on, but it's just bringing the light out, just so that it brightens it up a bit. And some grass down here. And I'll need to just bring a little bit of wall in there later when it's dry. And I'm going to go for a slightly larger brush. To bring in some of the brighter grass down here. And crisscross away into the paper or graze the surface and just let it disappear. There's no need to fill in every corner. We want the eye to go up to that interesting point. And then we've got other stones there. I'm going to put a few more shadows in. And you can always go over something you've already done with a similar tone and you'll find it goes darker each time. taking the horizontal strokes for a few ripples on the water, working up to the light side of a stone and then away from it. That will bring it forward. And the same with this one over here, working up to the stone. I'm going to dance about now onto the grass and just put a little bit more tone in some areas. That'll bring the light stones forward over there. I use a lot of water, but it doesn't matter if I feel it's too much in places because all I do is dry the brush and touch it and it will take it up the brush again. I'd rather use too much water than too little. It's easier to just take it off rather than have to put it on because it's so dry. And I'm going to tick and flick along the edge here. And there's a an old log in the water here, so I'm going to make that stand up and come across here for a bit of interest. And up into these trees again. You could put on quite a bit of dark pigment to bring that light bit forward and then just dry your brush and it will take it up and reduce it. But it will give you that little light bit coming forward in front. And now I'll just try and finish off these trees in the background. You can't always make out which branch comes from which tree. There are so many of them. So you've just got to make it look believable, as if it is actually happening. And if something doesn't look believable, you have to go back over it and sort out which tree 
you want it to come from. We also have trees that come in from outside the picture and they can come in front. quite strongly. And they help to give it a bit of a frame to the edge. And now we just put a little bit of tone in amongst some of these rocks. And I'm tucking in behind some of the lighter sides of these stones with the blue. What I really want to show you on this is how the putting of the dark behind and into these shadow recesses can bring out the contrasts and anchor these shapes make the other ones come forward, sort of drop in little bits. And then you tick and flick strokes for some of the longer grasses that cut in front of the water. shadows along by the wall. Notice how by pushing the brush I can get a dry brush effect and a bit more interest in the stroke. I just go back to the place that I started to get that distance recognisable between the two. And the other wall that comes behind here.
And just at the end, you can mix a glaze. I've just mixed a little bit of the lemon yellow with the brown to just gently bring the sun out down the side of that tree or to put some highlights on this wall. Or perhaps even a little bit on the stones there. Just to lighten them up a bit. Well, that's just a, a quick sketch in watercolour to get the feel of the composition I planned for this little riverside scene. And if you wanted something that was a bit more intricate, you can use this type of thing as your sketch and then you can work from it. In the next programme, I'll be talking about ink tents, water-soluble pencils, and showing you how to do a building in relation to some foliage. now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.